Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I am sharing all of my Halloween decorations. You guys probably know how much I love Halloween. So today I am sharing my Halloween house tour. I'm gonna start out in the kitchen because I think this is my favorite room that we decorated for Halloween. I just love the way the kitchen came out. As you can see, I decided to go with a black and white theme in my kitchen this year. Normally I do a lot of oranges, but this year I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. I kind of like to mix it up every year, so I'm not always doing the exact same decorations. And honestly, I just love the way the black and white came out. I think it looks so nice. Starting out with the kitchen island, I added this spooky Halloween tablecloth, which I found at Michael's. And this was super inexpensive. I think this was on sale and it was only around $6. And I just love this so much. So as you guys can see, it has a bunch of creepy spiders and spider webs all over it. And then my favorite part about this would have to be these cute little bats. So on all of the edges, it has these cute little bats. Also, this tablecloth looks really good when the bats are hanging over the edge, kind of like I have right here, but I could only do this on two of the ends because our island is quite big and this tablecloth just fit. Also on my kitchen island, I have this tiered stand here that I decorated for like a little hot cocoa station. I thought it was just a cute way to display a bunch of my Halloween mugs. I think this came out so nice. So first of all, I have some of these black and white straws that are from the dollar spot at Target, and I just have them in my Ray Dunn cream container. I have some Halloween sprinkles. I think these are from Target as well. And then my cute little ghost right here is from Walmart. Moving down to the second tier, I have some mini marshmallows because you can have a hot cocoa station without mini marshmallows, am I right? The little container holding the marshmallows is from the Dollar Tree, and then I just added a wood lid, and then the little pumpkin is also from the Dollar Tree. And then I have these two spooky mugs, which I think I bought last year from Home Goods. I really like these mugs because they're double-sided, so then you can see it on both sides of the stand. On the bottom, I have this cute little pumpkin here. This is from Target, and this was only $3, and it kind of reminds me of a Ray Dunn pumpkin. And this little guy also lights up. So when I first bought this pumpkin, the stem was kind of a yellowy brown color and I just wasn't feeling it. So I took some of my fine glitter that I bought in the dollar spot at Target and I just glittered up his stem and I just think it looks so much cuter. And then I have this Witch's Brew mug right here. This is one of my favorite mugs that I picked up this year. This is from Meyer. Meyer had some super cute Halloween mugs this year. This one here is also from Meyer. It says, drink up witches. And my mom actually surprised me with this one because she is so amazing. So thank you, mom. So this is what my Halloweenified tiered stand looks like. I think this came out so good. I always love decorating this for the holidays. So this is what it looks like from the back. So you can see the cute little ghost. And I love that all of these mugs are double-sided. So then they look good from both sides. This is another one of my favorites, you guys. These little Ray Dunn boo plates. My mom also surprised me with some of these and I just love the way they look. I seriously have the best mom ever. I also, of course, had to add some Halloween decor to my coffee station, so this is what it looks like. I have another little tiered stand over here. So on this one, I added this cute little sign that says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I found this little sign in the dollar spot at Target. On the bottom of the stand, I have a couple of Ray Dunn mugs. So I have this Boo one, which is actually just a decal. And then I also have this really cute Ray Dunn heart mug. And I just love how the Ray Dunn mugs look with this rustic wood stand. I just think that they look so nice together. And then I have some more of these black and white straws, which are from the dollar spot at Target, sitting inside of my Starbucks mug back here. And then I hung up some of these cute little bats. Again, you guys, these are from the dollar spot at Target. I found so much good Halloween decor there and I just used some double-sided tape to hang them up. And then over here on this wood slab, I just added a few more Halloween decorations. So this is one of my favorites right here. I added one of these cute little witches hats on top of this jar of, yes, more <laughs> mini marshmallows. I feel like we just cannot get enough mini marshmallows when we are making hot cocoa in the fall. And then I also added this black pumpkin here with the sparkly gold stem. This is from Target. 
Hanging on the wall over here, I have this really cool Halloween sign. I want to say I bought this last year at Joanne Fabrics. I just love the way the rustic wood looks. Also, this sign is really cool because it lights up. And I don't know if you guys can see, but the letters are black and glittery. It just looks so pretty, you guys. And then moving down onto my countertop, these are one of my favorite things. Again, these little witches hats, I added them to some little treat jars. I just said little about a million times. So this is what they look like. I just think that these are so adorable. In this first jar, we have some of these adorable little ghost peeps. And then in the middle, I'm kind of holding them up against the glass with regular big marshmallows, just because it would have taken a million of the ghost peeps just to keep them all together. We have some of these mini powdered donuts. Bill and I have been loving these lately. And lastly, some of the cutest suckers that I've ever seen in my entire life. I found these cute little ghost suckers at the Dollar Tree, and not only are they adorable, but they also taste amazing. Sitting on my sink, I have this Halloween soap holder here. I found this at Bath and Body Works, and it is just a spider web, and it is all sparkly and pretty. I just love this soap holder so much. This is what the other side of it looks like. It has the little spider. I don't know why, I just had it turn the other way. So here is a close up of the sparkly web. Look how gorgeous this is. And then inside of here, I just have my sweet cinnamon pumpkin soap. Bath & Body Works had some really cute Halloween stuff this year. Another thing that I picked up from Bath & Body Works is this Halloween wallflower plug. I just thought this was the cutest thing ever, so it is just a haunted house. And as you guys can see, this one is also sparkly and pretty, has a little pumpkin down there and a little owl in the tree. I stuck some of these creepy black spiders on my crock. I think I bought these in a set at Michael's. They were really cheap. You got like six or eight of them for a dollar or two. And I'm actually surprised that these haven't scared me yet. I added some more spider decor in my window. So I have this light up web here. I bought this last year at Pottery Barn and this web is just so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see what it looks like. I had to keep turning my exposure down because it was so bright in here. So here is a little bit of a close up of the web. This is just a really pretty crystal web and you can either have the lights so they're blinking or they're on solid. And I like to have them on the blinking light. I just think they look really nice. And then inside of the web, I stuck a couple of these clear spiders. I thought they matched it really well. These are from the Dollar Tree. These spiders actually came with some multicolored lights attached to them, and I just removed those lights. On my stove, I decided to add a black candle just to make it all Halloween-y. So I found this black one on clearance actually at TJ Maxx, and I think it was only $3.99. And I can't remember what scent this one is, but it smells so amazing. And then back here, this cute little pumpkin is from World Market. I also got a bigger one too. I love these so much. World Market had some really nice fall and Halloween decor. And over here, this black jack-o'-lantern is from Home Goods. This was actually orange when we bought it and my husband was so sweet. He spray painted this, this gorgeous matte black color for me. I need to touch this up just a little bit because when they made this, it was kind of flawed. As you can see, there's orange right here where it should have been white. I also have one of these spider webs here. This is from the Dollar Tree. This did have a big, clear, hideous spider in the center of it, but I just removed that. It just pulled off. And then I added some of these black, sparkly, creepy ones instead. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you guys, also on my stove, I have this Halloween dish towel. This is another thing from the Target dollar spot. It just says, Happy Halloween Witches, and the lettering on Happy and Witches is sparkly and pretty. I just thought this was the cutest little Halloween dish towel. My favorite things in this whole entire kitchen would have to be these witches hats. I seriously love these so much. I saw this idea on Pinterest of having the witches hats hanging. So this is what they look like. My husband is so sweet and he hung these up for me. So basically all these are some cheapy little witch hats. And then on the inside, we just hung some tea light candles. These actually light up. They look so cool at night. So we just used some fishing line and then we kind of just threaded it through the top of the hat, and then we just have them hanging on the ceiling with some clear push pins, if that makes any sense. I think that these look so amazing, and the best part is they were super inexpensive to make. They only cost a couple dollars to make each one. 
All right, guys, the last Halloween decoration I have in my kitchen is this little spider. Well, actually, it's not little. It's a big spider. I just love saying the word little. I get it from my mom, which is funny because this spider is actually from my mom. She bought me this a few years ago for my birthday, and I just think he is so adorable. He likes to just chill up here on top of this cabinet above our refrigerator. Moving on to the dining room, here is a little overview of what it looks like. I'm gonna start out with my china cabinet. So this is what it looks like. I love my china cabinet so much and every time I look at this thing, you guys, it just makes me so happy and I honestly still can't believe that I got this china cabinet for free. One of my favorite things on the china cabinet would have to be this sign that says Hocus Pocus. And if you guys didn't know, I found this in the dollar spot at Target. I just think that this sign is so sparkly and pretty. And I think I told you guys before, I just pretty much love anything that has to do with Hocus Pocus. Another thing that I found in the dollar spot at Target is this witch's broom right here. My mom and I actually both ended up getting one of these. I just think this is the cutest little broom ever. And I just thought it looked perfectly on here, especially with the Hocus Pocus sign. I also added some of these cute spider lights on the front of the china cabinet. I found these at Pier 1 Imports and I just thought these were the cutest little spider lights ever. And these are battery operated. They have a bunch of different settings. You can kind of have them on a solid or a flashing. There's just a bunch of different ones. And the best part about these is I got them for free because I had a reward from Pier 1. I also added a couple of these bats onto the front of the china cabinet. If you guys remember, these were from the same pack as the ones that I showed you guys in my coffee station. They're from the Target Dollar Spot. On the inside of the china cabinet, I added my Hocus Pocus mug and then I also put my darling mug here. So it just says Hocus Pocus darling. Over here I have a heart decal. I made this before I ended up finding the heart one. And then I have this potion one that my husband surprised me with for my birthday. And then I have a trick and a treat mug. These two are decals because I didn't end up finding the trick or treat mugs and you know, you gotta fake it until you make it. And then I just added a little witch's hat. And then moving down onto the next shelf, I found this Witches Wanted sign in, can you guys guess where? The Dollar Spot at Target. I love this little sign so much. Target Dollar Spot seriously had some amazing fall and Halloween decor this year. I was very impressed. And speaking of Target Dollar Spot, you guys are gonna get sick of me saying that, but I also found this Witches hat that I added onto my cream in the Target Dollar Spot. And this little guy was only $1. I actually kind of wanted to buy more of these, but my store only sadly had one. My little ghost down here is also from the dollar spot at Target. And this guy is sitting in one of my favorite things ever. You guys, I am so excited. My mom found me the Black Ray Dunn Halloween bowls. She just randomly texted me on a Saturday afternoon and she's just like all casual. You want the black Halloween bowls? And I was like, what? No way did she find those. I thought maybe she had found something else, but she sent me a picture and I was literally jumping up and down. You guys, I had wanted these Halloween bowls so bad. I seriously have the best mom ever. Thank you, mom, so much. You are so amazing. Here's a close up of the ghost. He actually lights up. I just forgot to turn it on. I just think that he looks so perfect sitting inside of the black Ray Dunn bowls. And then I have this white jack-o'-lantern. This one reminds me of a Ray Dunn pumpkin. This is like the black one I showed you guys earlier. In my Ray Dunn mixing bowls, I have this black pumpkin here that has the gold stars. And again, this is from the dollar spot at Target. I told you guys that I had so many things from the dollar spot at Target. And then down here, I have some more Ray Dunn Halloween bowls. If you guys can't tell, I'm just a little bit obsessed with Ray Dunn. So these are the bowls that my husband surprised me with and I just love them so much. I think they're so cute. And then on top, I just stuck a witch's hat. My amazing husband had also surprised me with some of these adorable little ghost mugs. He found these at Home Goods, and I am just completely obsessed with them. These may be some of the cutest Halloween mugs I have ever seen. And then the Boo and the Trick or Treat canisters are just decals because if you guys hunt for Ray Dunn, you probably know that these canisters are almost impossible to find. All right, guys, that is all of the Halloween decor in my china cabinet.
I also stuck a couple of these crows on my hanging lanterns in my dining room. I had bought these crows a couple years ago from the Dollar Tree. So this is what they look like. I think they look really cool sitting on top of the lanterns. They just make it a little bit creepy. Every time I see crows, either fake ones or in real life, it reminds me of the movie Jeepers Creepers. Have you guys ever seen that movie? And now I kind of want to watch that. Bill and I both love that movie so much. If you have haven't seen that movie I definitely recommend it it's a really good creepy movie to watch for Halloween I also added some fake spider web or cobweb to the chandelier in my dining room I just think it also gives it a really nice spooky effect and it's super inexpensive you can buy a pack of the fake spider web at most stores that sell Halloween decor the cheapest place I found it is at Dollar General it was only one dollar and I think all of the other stores where I had looked for it were two or three dollars so if you're looking and you want to get it for really cheap, go to Dollar General. Here is a closer look of what the spider web looks like on the chandelier. Like I said, I just think this looks really cool and creepy looking. Just kind of reminds me of an old abandoned haunted house or something. And then sitting at our dining room table, we have this skeleton. This is from Joanne Fabric. So this little guy just sits right here drinking his cup of coffee. We actually ended up buying quite a few of these skeletons because Joanne Fabrics was having a sale and these were 70% off and that is a pretty good deal, almost like getting it for a clearance price. So this guy likes to just chill here in our dining room, drinking his cup of coffee out of his Mr. Handsome Devil mug. And if you guys are wondering, this mug is from Kirkland's. I bought this last year in a set. It also had a Mrs. one. I think the other one was Mrs. Wicked Witch, I want to say. And then hanging on the door behind the skeleton, I have this beware sign. This is actually from the Dollar Tree. I thought this was a super nice sign for only $1. And as you guys can see, the letters on this are all sparkly and pretty. Alright guys, moving on to my living room. As you can see in here, I did go with quite a bit of orange. I wanted to add quite a few pops of color since I kept it so low key in the kitchen with the black and white. So here is an overview of what our living room looks like, all decorated for Halloween. Starting out with the couch, you can see I have so many Halloween pillows. I don't know what it is, I just have a little obsession with pillows and I have so many for the holidays. So this first one here, this is Happy Halloween, is from the Target Dollar Spot. I actually bought this one last year and this is one of my favorite little Halloween pillows because it has the sparkly writing on it and I also love the cute little spider. So like I said, that one is from last year. This one is also from last year. I think I bought this one last year at Kohl's. It just says, welcome to our web. And this one here that says Happy Halloween is also from last year. I think I bought this one from Meyer. I just think the little pumpkin on here is so adorable. The jack-o'-lantern face pumpkin is from three or four years ago. This one is from TJ Maxx. I actually remember the exact day I bought this pillow because I was shopping with my mom and my sister and it was just one of those days where we just had one of the best days ever. So every time I see this pillow, it just brings back a really happy memory. This pillow is also really cool because the fabric on here looks all shimmery and kind of sparkly. I don't know how good you guys can tell, but in person, this pillow looks really cool. My happy memory jack-o'-lantern pillow and for that reason I'll probably never be able to get rid of this pillow because I am just so sentimental. Next is my I'll put a spell on you pillow. This is from Kirkland's and I love this so much because it just reminds me of course of Hocus Pocus. I have another little mini pillow here. This is from the dollar spot at Target. This one is from this year and it just says no treats just tricks. And then on the other end of my couch, I have a few more Halloween pillows. So I have this one here that says trick or treat. This one is from Meyer, and I just love this one just because it has a nice simple look to it. And then this boo one is from last year from the Target dollar spot. And again, I just love this one so much because this one has the pretty sparkly writing on it. One of my favorite things in my living room are these really cool bats that I hung up on the wall over here. I bought these at Walmart and they were only $2 and you get quite a few of them in the pack. And then they also come with the little sticky things to hang them up on the wall. Here's a little bit of a closer look at the bats. I think these look so cool. They also had, I think, crows, spiders, and owls. And like I said, they were only $2. And then I also have this black trick-or-treat sign here. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I love this little sign so much. Look how cute the little spider is in the web. 
I have a witch's hat sitting right here on this trunk. I found this last year on clearance. I found this actually around Christmas at the at-home store. It was on clearance for super cheap. I think it was only around $5. And when I bought this, it did come pre-lit, but it had clear lights on it, and I just really didn't care for the clear lights. I felt like you couldn't see them that good, so I took a couple of these little cheapy orange light strands from the Dollar Tree, and I just put them on here instead, and I think it looks really cool lit up with the black and the orange. Above my TV, I have this sign that says the farmhouse, so I just decided to creep this up a little bit. So I just added some more of that same fake spider web that I showed you guys that I had on my chandelier onto this sign. And then I also just added a couple of these creepy black spiders, the sparkly black spiders that are from Michael's. I just love the way this fake spider web looks, and honestly, I did so many different things with just one bag of this. I think I did the chandelier, this sign, and then my coat rack. And then I added some lights onto my TV stand as well as a little garland and some pumpkins. So here is a little bit of a closer look. I love the way the purple lights look on here, especially with this cute bat garland. I found this at Hobby Lobby and it was super cheap. I think this was only around four or five dollars. I just thought this was one of the cutest Halloween banners I've ever seen. It has like the little metal bats and then it just has a piece of rope holding them up. I have a couple of these pumpkin lanterns sitting on top of my TV stand. I can't remember where these are from. I've had these for, I wanna say three or four years, but I love these so much. Normally I use tea light candles to light these up, but this year I use some of these battery operated string lights and these work so much better. They just make the little pumpkins glow. Next, moving on to my coffee table, I just added a few Halloween decorations on here. So first of all, I added this candle holder. I bought this last year from Meyer, and I am just in love with this. I think this is by Yankee Candle. I just think this looks so cool lit up. I just have a candle burning in here. I just love the little crow, the pumpkin, and of course the spooky tree. The little spooky trees are always my favorite for Halloween. I also have my Hocus Pocus mug sitting here because I was watching Hocus Pocus earlier and I made myself a cup of pumpkin spice tea and I thought, why not use my Hocus Pocus mug while I'm watching Hocus Pocus? And then over here, I added another one of these crows that I have from the Dollar Tree. So all I did for this is I took this glass topper that I had from one of my cake stands and then I just set it on this pretty coffee table book and then I just stuck the little crow inside and I just think it looks really cool. And then just to make it a little bit creepier, I added one of these spiders, which you've probably already seen a million of. I'm honestly so surprised that I haven't been scared by these because a lot of times I'll put these around and then I will forget about them and then I'll see them and I will like jump a mile because I am terrified of spiders. Also, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's probably little nose prints all over the glass on this because Madison keeps thinking this is a real bird, or at least that's what I'm guessing. Look at, and she kept trying to move the glass to get to the bird. It is so hilarious. All right, guys, moving on to my console table behind my couch. This is what it looks like. And I always get so many questions about this table, and I think I've mentioned this so many times, but this table is from Target, and it used to be like a brown color, and I just painted it white. On top, I have this light up jack-o'-lantern. This is one of my favorite Halloween decorations. My mom actually found this for me a few years ago at a garage sale, and I don't know why, I just love this guy so much. I just think he looks so cool lit up. And then next to him, I have this candelabra, which I bought last year from Target. Also, I kind of changed this up. If you guys saw in the intro, I added some books underneath the candelabra. My husband thought this looked really cool. I actually just used three of my fashion books, but just to make them look a little bit creepier, I turned them around so it just looks like three plain black books. And I just love the way the candelabra looks sitting on top of them. Also, look how cool the flames on this candelabra look. I just feel like these look super real. This is, again, one of my favorite Halloween decorations. I also ended up adding a couple of the creepy spiders onto my lamp. Like I said in the intro, I hadn't done this yet. I was actually still kind of decorating this table and changing it up a little bit. So I added a couple of these and I just used some double-sided tape to stick them on. And then I did the same thing with the bats inside the lampshade. My husband is so sweet. He cut some of these out. I actually ran out of the ones from Walmart. So he cut these out of some construction paper. And this is just a very inexpensive and easy way to add some Halloween decor to your lamps. So I think this looks so cool when it is lit up at night and I actually have the bats on the other side of the lampshade as well. 
And then I also have a few Halloween decor items on the bottom of the table. So first of all, I have this really cool spooky sign. I found this last week at Kirkland's and I just immediately fell in love with it. I just love the white and the black. And then sitting next to the spooky sign, I have this black tin pumpkin. This is from Joann's. Next in my entryway, I added some Halloween decor to my chest of drawers. So this is what it looks like when you first walk into our house. I found this midnight potion candle the other day at Home Goods, and I thought this was so perfect for Halloween. It even came with a really cool black lid that looked like it had a spider web on it. And by the way, this candle also smells amazing. I have my black spooky tree here that I bought last year from the dollar spot at Target. This is again one of my favorite Halloween decorations. I always just love the little spooky trees for Halloween, and I love how this one is black and sparkly. I think this tree is super pretty. I found these ceramic Halloween books in the dollar spot at Target this year. So the back just has a skull and then the front just has a creepy spider on it. I found this really cool jar at Michael's and I just love this one so much. So it says dried crow's feet on it and I actually just stuck some really small spiders in it. You really can't see because I don't have any dried crow's feet. And also how cute is the little crow on the top. I bought this pumpkin last year at Michael's and then inside of it I just stuck a color changing tea light candle which I actually stole off from one of those spiders that I told you guys that I got from the Dollar Tree that I had in my spider web in my kitchen. So I just have that inside of there and then on top I also just added a witch's hat. I also put some of these bat stickers on my mirror. I actually had these from last year. I just reused them. I stuck them on a piece of wax paper so they stayed good. And I think I had bought these last year at Target. I also added this Halloween sign and some witches brooms in my entryway. This is one of my favorite Halloween signs. I bought this last year at TJ Maxx and I just thought this was the cutest Halloween sign ever. So I just hung this up above my coat rack and then I just decided to put some more of that fake spider web on the coat rack as well as a couple more of the creepy spiders. I have so many of these spiders around my house, you guys. These aren't so bad though because they're sparkly. So that makes them feel a little bit friendlier, I guess. And then I also hung a couple of my witch's brooms on the coat rack. So both of these are from Joann's. The black sparkly one is from last year and then the natural looking one is from this year. All right guys, moving on to my office, I did add a couple of Halloween decorations in here. So starting out at my desk, I added this wood boo sign. I think I got this last year at Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then I have this gorgeous sparkly skull head here. I think I found this last year at Home Goods. Look how pretty and sparkly this guy is. Also, his eyes do light up and I would show you guys, but it is so bright and blinding. So I'm not going to blind you guys. On my computer, I just stuck this bat right here and I'm actually surprised this is just still holding on because I just have it resting on the cord. So I'm really surprised this hasn't fallen down yet. And lastly, on my desk, I have this gorgeous silver sparkly pumpkin. I found this at Pier 1 Imports. I bought this, I want to say about a week ago, and I have no idea why, but it was already on clearance, you guys. This pumpkin is so pretty and sparkly. The camera is definitely not doing it justice. I also added a few Halloween decorations over here on my bookcase. I have some of these really cool clear light up spiders. These are from Pottery Barn. They are battery operated and I seriously love these. And it's so funny for someone being as terrified of spiders as me, I have a lot of spider decor. I also have this cute little guy sitting here. I found this ghost at TJ Maxx. This gorgeous pearl pumpkin is from Marshalls. And then down here on the bottom, I just have another kind of blinged out skull. This one is from Pier One. I love all of the gorgeous jewels on this one. And I also love the giant pearl inside the eye. All right, guys, those are all of my Halloween decorations in my office. Next, moving on to my hallway, I just added a few things in here. And Madison is so funny. She is waiting by the door for Bill. He played golf today and she has been wondering where he is. So she is waiting for him to come home. So in the hallway, I decided to just keep it very simple. So I just added a couple of these black spider webs from the Dollar Tree onto the doors in here. 
And moving on to Bill's man cave, we also added some Halloween decor in here. So we added a couple of these skeletons. They're just chilling back here, having a nice little conversation, enjoying some candy. We also have our really cool candy dish back here. This one is motion activated. This is so cool. So when you get close to it, this is what it does. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting. And then we do have some candy in our candy bowl. We don't have a ton because honestly, we've eaten most of it. The little peanut butter pumpkins are our favorites. And then on the bottom of the table, Bill has his light up football pumpkin. We've had this for quite a few years, so I'm not sure where that is from. And then we have some more Halloween decorations over here on the TV and the TV stand. And by the way, you guys, we started watching Stranger Things again. We had watched it last year around Halloween and we decided to start watching it all over again because this show is so good. I definitely recommend this show. On Bill's TV, he added a couple of these really creepy spiders. We found these at Party City. They're kind of hard to see right now because the TV's on, so I'll shut it off so you guys can see better. This is what they look like. They have these creepy red eyes. I actually bought some of these to go on our new shed as well, but the eyes were creeping me out. So for mine on the shed, I glued on some googly eyes just to make them look a tiny bit friendlier because I feel like the red eyes make them look so evil. And then on top of the TV stand, we also have a few more Halloween decorations. We just kind of kept it simple. So the first one is this really cool cloche. This is from Target. You guys probably saw this in my Target Halloween shop with me video. So this is what it looks like. It just has a little bat on the top. And then on the bottom, it just has three of these little claw feet. Inside of the cloche, we just added this skull head. I think we bought this a few years ago from Target. And then sitting on top of the skull head, we just have another one of our creepy spiders that we have all over the house. And then down here, we found this really cool potions book at Michael's as well as the frog on top. So this is what the book looks like. And this is actually a really nice heavy book. So it just has the skull and then it says potions. And then we also found this really cute little skeleton frog at Michael's as well. And lastly, on the TV stand, we also hung up some of these light up skulls. So they're just hanging here in front of the flames. I think that these look so cool, especially with the flame in the background. And I can't remember where these guys are from. I think my mom may have actually bought these for us at a garage sale. So this is what they look like. Look how evil their little faces look. They look so creepy. And like I said, I just think it looks really cool with them hanging in front of the flame. And lastly, in here, we also hung up some of the fake spider web on Bill's Red Wings flag. And again, we added some of the creepy spiders. Like I said, we have so many of these things around our house. All right, guys, that is going to be it. Those are all of our Halloween decorations. And like I said, when I filmed this intro, I hadn't added all of my Halloween decor to the sofa table yet. So that is why it looks a little bit different. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next video.